Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be giving my spoiler free review for The Batman. I am way behind in getting this review out even though this was one of my most anticipated films of 2022 but around the time when this film came out I had to take a break from YouTube but I am now back and ready to talk about The Batman. The Batman was directed by Matt Reeves and starred Robert Pattinson as the title role and also featured Paul Dano as the Riddler, Zoe Kravitz as Selena Kyle, Jeffrey Wright as James Gordon, Andy Serkis as Alfred, and Colin Farrell as the Penguin. Now, as mentioned, this will be a spoiler-free review, but if you guys have already seen this film, I'd be very interested to know what you guys thought of it, but, so be sure to leave your thoughts down in the comments below. But with that said, guys, let's get started. This film puts Bruce Wayne two years into his career as Batman. On Halloween night, the mayor is murdered by the Riddler, and he leaves a set of riddles addressed to the Batman. Batman, along with the help of James Gordon, solve the series of riddles and chase every possible lead to apprehend the Riddler. As mentioned earlier, this was one of my most anticipated films for 2022, and when I got the chance to see it, I was hoping that it would live up to all of my expectations, and I'm glad to say that it did in almost every way. I was really surprised with how much I enjoyed this movie. We've gotten several different takes on Batman, but this is one of the first adaptations where I felt like I was watching something truly unique. The film is eerie from beginning to end, and I love the representation of Gotham City. From the very first shot, I truly felt like this was Gotham City, with how dark and gloomy it is. I haven't actually felt that way about the portrayal of Gotham since the first few seconds of Batman from 1989. You also see very quickly just how terrified the criminals of Gotham are of Batman, and I love how they change things up a bit with how he normally enters a scene. Some of the past films show Batman lurking in the shadows, and then just jumping into action out of nowhere. In this film, we get several occasions where we think Batman is going to show, but he never does, which you can see is psychologically terrifying to some of the thugs of Gotham. But when Batman officially enters the room, it's not in any fancy way like gliding or crashing through a roof. He just walks in out of the shadows, and you can already tell by the imagery that he completely owns the room, no matter how many people he comes up against. It was just great imagery altogether. The story itself was great, and I love the tone of this movie. It was not like some of the other Batman films. This one felt more like a dark noir or crime thriller than a comic book film. I like that we finally see Batman using his detective skills. I mean, sure, we see little bits of it in other films, but I like that it was one of the main focuses of the movie. The cast was phenomenal. I loved Robert Pattinson's portrayal as Batman, and I only say Batman because you can clearly tell throughout the movie that he is always in that mindset, whether in or out of the suit. I honestly enjoy that aspect of his character. He only goes as Bruce Wayne if it's necessary not to make an appearance for some charity or fancy occasion as we've seen in the other Batman films. This version of Bruce Wayne is completely focused on his mission and is clearly more reckless. Paul Dano as the Riddler was creepy and definitely not your typical Riddler, but was played amazingly. I like that we see a more psychopathic serial killer portrayal, which I thought fit very well with the tone of the movie. His first appearance felt like something out of a slasher film, which really creeped me out, and that's coming from someone that doesn't get easily scared in movies. Jeffrey Wright was great as always. I've liked his performances in all the films I've seen him in, and I thought he did great as James Gordon. He and Pattinson had great chemistry, and on that note, I really enjoyed watching the tension between Batman and the police force, and the visible pressure that it put on Gordon. Zoe Kravitz did very well as Selina Kyle, and she and Pattinson had a great chemistry as well. She seemed to take a more classic take on the character, and I thought her portrayal of Catwoman, even though she never actually goes by that name, was very well done. But I have to address the elephant in the room, or in this case, the penguin in the room. Colin Farrell as the penguin was fantastic. Even when you know going in that that's Colin Farrell, his performance makes you forget who the actor is until you see his name pop up in the credits. I remember when I took my dad to see this film, we actually waited through the credits for a bit because he wanted to see who Colin Farrell played because I think he was looking for him throughout the movie, and then I remember him finally asking me, was Colin Farrell the penguin? Great performance and kudos to the crew who designed his makeup. The music was composed by Michael Giacchino, and I thought it was good. It definitely fit the theme of this movie, but I wasn't really blown away by it. The main motif is a little too repetitive for me. 
But then again, there's been plenty of scores where the main motif is repetitive, Jaws being one of them, so I'm not going to dwell on that too much. There's not a lot of negatives that I have for this movie, except for seeing Batman repeatedly walking into the hail of gunfire. Sure, it looks cool, but he gets shot quite a bit, and it doesn't look like it affects him that much until later in the movie, which wasn't really realistic for me. I know his armor was supposed to be very strong, but it honestly took me out of the movie a little bit. But other than that, I definitely recommend you guys checking out The Batman if you haven't seen this film yet. Matt Reeves did a fantastic job with the direction and has a great story, a great cast, and visual effects, and an enjoyable score. So with that, I'm going to give The Batman an A+. And there you have it, guys. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and hope you found the review helpful. And if you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel and you'd like to stay updated for more of my content, then please consider hitting that subscribe button. Guys, thank you all again so much for all the continued support. Be sure to stay tuned because next week I'll be posting my rankings for the Godzilla slash Kong movies, aka the Monsterverse films. So can't wait to talk about those. Thank you all again, and I'll see you next time.